How did you end up performing at the Royal Albert Hall? Well, um, I got a call from Dave, actually a text really, and he just said, would you like to tickle the ivories at, uh, for this uh, event, which is the Teenage Cancer Trust thing? And my reaction was, well, I hope that's the, the, something that's coming from all the band, not just Dave, you know. So I asked him that question, he said, yeah, definitely. And of course I thought, I didn't really think twice about it, I thought, yes, it's got to be a great thing to do for many reasons, you know, partly because it's a great cause, of course, but also I just thought it was long overdue that we should all get back together and meet up and just kind of chew over, chew the fat, as we say. Was there any uh, debate over the song you were going to do, or did uh, somebody come easily? I think it was just suggested that that, that was the song, and it makes sense, really, because it's the one we know. And, you know, we wouldn't have had much time to rehearse at all. In fact, we were lucky to get a rehearsal at all, because um, it was all happening that day. It was an awkward production for the band to put into the Royal Out Hall. And um, I think with the other six string players they had, and two other songs to rehearse, so we had to wait, wait quite a long time to even get a sound check, so it made the most sense to do the easiest song. And luckily, it was all kind of just there, you know, still, it's still, it's kind of ingrained, super, super ingrained into my arms, that song. Well, what was your reaction to the crowd reaction? It was a bit special, there's no doubt about it, and um, very heartwarming and emotional. I got the old goosebumps, and uh, I, had a, I mean, I had a great day all round, really. It was, you know, for me it wasn't just that moment, it was just actually seeing Martin and Fletch and Dave again and having a good old chat, you know, and, and just seeing how everyone was. You know, I haven't seen Martin or Fletch for a long time and um, it was just really interesting to catch up. And then of course it was topped off by the thing in the evening which did go well and people really reacted nicely and ever since I've had lots of really great messages about it as well. Now tonight at the O2, you actually saw a Depeche Mode show. Yeah. What's it like from the other side? Well, I wasn't able to watch the show properly in at the Royal Albert Hall because I had to kind of get ready and you know I was distracted by many different things that were happening that night. Tonight I was just coming here purely as a punter to watch the show properly. So I guess I got a true impression of how it is just to see Depeche Mode as a fan. And uh, it was a very interesting and enjoyable experience. Um, you know, I have feelings about every song, and of course, I know them all so well. So, you know, and I, will, as you hear the versions they play now, you, you remember the versions we used to do and how they might compare. And, you know, I guess I got different views on each track. But my overall experience was that I really enjoyed it and that the band performed really well. They, they looked like they were really having a good time. And uh, the, the crowd was great. Do you have any final things you want to say? No, oh, just just thanks for all the messages I've had since the other day, which have been like uniformly wonderful. You know, really lovely messages from people saying that they were moved and, and really pleased to see it happen. They never thought that they'd ever see any kind of reunion like that. And so, and so yeah, it's, it's been really great. Thank you.